great Monday evening, which is the eve of Christmas Eve. Hope you had a wonderful day in the Lord. God is worthy to be praised. We are in the next chapter from this morning. We were in Psalm 6, but now we're in Psalm 7. I'll say the first verse spoke to me as far as when we are surrounded by uncertainty and perhaps you know someone is against you or challenges or great tests and tribulations what do we say like david said when he was surrounded by cush right there was some slander going on and cush was uh, um a son a descendant of the benjamites well anyway he was saying look even though there's hearsay negativity verse one and we have to do this son Oh Lord, my God, in thee do I put my trust. Save me from all situations, all people, all negativity, all stress, all opposition, all tribulation. Save me that from those who are persecuting me, from those who are oppressing me, from uh, things that are beyond my control, that where people are attacking me. And deliver me. God said that, look, you know what? You don't even have to worry about the situation because I am your father. I am the one who will carry you. And in verse 10, the promise is my defense is of God. That means he is our shield, which saveth the upright in heart. When we have a clear heart, a pure heart to the Lord, he'll protect us. What do you have to say about that? Psalms. Psalm 7. Um, I think you said 11. God judgeth the righteous, and God is angry with the wicked every day. Oh, yeah. Um, so until, like, God is very fair, and he doesn't have to explain to humans why he does things. And um, there's a grand, I mean, in the grand scheme of things, there's a reason why he does things. Right. We might not understand. Our thoughts are not his thoughts. Our ways are not his ways. We just have to trust God. That's why we put everything on him. Amen. And because today is December 23rd, we went to Proverbs 23 and so much spoke to me, but I know verse four spoke to both of us. Labor not to be rich. You know, we're talking about school and majors and classes. You're about to schedule your spring semester courses and I always go back to the original intention. What's your objective? And make sure you're not going to a course of study because you think you're going to get paid and so much money. No. Is it a calling? Is the Lord placing you in that arena so that he'll get the most glory? He gave you gifts, talents, abilities for a certain reason. What do you have to say about that, labor not to be rich? That's the truth. Because what? God will bless your your efforts when you have the good when you have good intentions your heart right is pure because it says that riches will make themselves as wings and fly toward heaven they they're only temporary they're here for a little while when you're gone someone else will enjoy them so that is not the reason to work it's good to bless your descendants right your children's children but most of all while you're here you're on assignment you're on mission the Lord was very intentional as far as what he poured into you because he wants some output so that others would be blessed. Amen. And look, what else would bless me? Uh, my son, if thy heart be wise, that's in verse 15, my heart shall rejoice, even mine. So do not, you know, look at others. Do not envy sinners. Mm -mm. Be in the fear of the Lord all day long and don't hang around with those who are greedy what were you saying about greed? It's, you had a good quote uh, yesterday. Something about greedy. I forgot. Yeah, I forgot too. But anyway, the drunkard and the glutton shall come to poverty and drowsiness shall clothe a person with rags. No, we want to be clothed with the righteousness of the Lord. So let's just make sure that we keep it vertical. And is there anything else from Proverbs 23 that spoke to you? Yeah. For as a person thinketh in their heart, so is he or she. So let's make sure that we have righteous, great thoughts from the Lord. 
Ask the Lord to give us a clean heart. If we have to go back to Psalms 51, create in me a clean heart, renew a right spirit, he would do it. And know that he will establish our thoughts so that we can get his will accomplished. Amen. Okay, hope you have a wonderful evening in the Lord. And uh, pray for Timotheus because he's going to uh, decide on his classes for the spring. Good day and good night.